Um, you look good. You threw on the jean jacket for me. Wow. Yeah, bro. Come on. I gotta get dressed up for you, man. Come on now. <laughs> How you doing, bro? Just got a mani pedi, bro. You got a manicure? Yeah, bro. Did you really? I swear to God. Um, so you're trying in the personal training world? I got some questions for you. Yeah, bro. Let's let's get them. I honestly like. I think you'd be great at it. It is super hard right now just because of COVID for the in-person stuff. So like, what's? Do you have any plan of like? Are, are you planning on like just learning and trying to get the cert before COVID like ends and then once COVID ends kind of going back to the doing training or like what's your plan? Sure. So when I texted you, it was absolutely grab zero. Like, oh, I okay. Know, okay. No well, thought. I'm less busy with my job because I'm more comfortable doing it. Uh -huh. So I'm a little bit more productive. It's not taking me as long. Uh, and COVID, I have more free time. I'm not doing a whole lot more stuff. So I'd always wanted to do it. I just have absolutely no clue how to get into it, what you need to get certified. I always can see the guys at uh, 24 hour kind of schmucks. <laughs> So there's like benefit, there's like pros and cons of like being a gym trainer at like a box gym, like a 24 hour or whatever. And then there's like benefits of independent. Um, if you were like, the only difference is like 24 is gonna give you hella clients and you'll gain hella experience really fast. Um, they just need you to come in, right? Yeah. Actually, like a car dealership. Yeah, exactly, like you don't, have, you don't have to do any marketing, you don't have to do any like that, that stuff. And so some people like it like, it, you won't get paid as much though. So there's like a, a, a curve. So you, what I always say, or recommend sometimes. Obviously, first step is get the Na NASM cert is what I recommend. Um, NASM CPT because it's nationally recognized and you'll pretty much be able to get hired anywhere with that one. Um, How long does it take? How much does it cost? Is it tough? It's not tough. I mean, I so it's supposedly a six month course. I did it. I you literally. Best two twenty five. You're in. You're in, bro. Like I did it in a week, bro. I don't know. Like it says six months, but I mean, like. So there's like test takers who need to like have 33 months to study so they could just feel confident to take it or there's like people who are just like I'm either, I either know it or I don't. Bro, I failed the first one by a fucking point. I was so pissed. Um, so I had to retake it and I just passed it the second time. But I, took, I did two in one month and like no one would do that. And no one would recommend that to you. Like I feel like, it, yeah. why not? Yeah. So it says six months, uh, but you know, it's it's whatever time frame you can learn at. And then the price was $5.99 for the course and then $1.99 for the retake. <laughs> <laughs> so, but it's, yeah, it's, there's three ways of payment. You could do, I think it was, I think it's $5.99. It's either $4.99 or $5.99 for the six month course and one test. Or you could do, uh, and that's and way that's with the textbook. Um, or you could pay like $8.99 or like $9.99 for uh, the, te the, the textbook plus video lessons, like video, t yeah. And, uh, and maybe two, I think two test takes, but I would just do the cheapest one and just go for it. The same, like the quizzes that you take on the uh, the textbook quizzes are the same, almost ex identical to the test. So as long as you like memorize those. So the gym is gonna be paid less, get more experience, which I don't think is a bad thing, but it's just a matter of like, do you wanna like take, I would say three months of learning or going independent, not getting as many clients right off the bat because obviously you're not getting fed them. Um, your marketing will have to be in play and then word of mouth. Like word of mouth, so I would like focus much as much of your like referral business of word of mouth and like is like the fastest way for you to go independent, make a lot of money, and get the most clients is just word of mouth. Okay, so it, let's say I do a commercial gym. Right. Uh, dude, is it kind of? I still have another job. Right. Is it my hours of operation? Like, yes. Do I, I kind of determine when I can do it. So that's that's the nice thing about personal training is in most box gyms and everyone I've worked at, they say like, what can you work? And then you just, they'll, they'll fill those hours. Um, all right, so let's say then I would have, let's say I went the independent route. Right. How, how do you even find people? Like Craigslist ads, Facebook ads? Fuck Craigslist, you don't want those people. I would say if you're going independent, the places to get the best clients are honestly Instagram. So, I mean, maybe not Instagram because you post never. So maybe not for you. But if you go on your phone book, and this is something that's, you're, you know, you're gonna have to get, but I mean, you're, you sell, so you're used to selling, right? Dog locked. Dog locked every day. <laughs> I mean, it's, you're just selling now yourself. Like you're always, you know, you're selling, even when you're selling dog locks, you're selling yourself. You know, you're, you, they have to buy into you to buy the dog lock, right? Right. I'm assuming, I don't know what the dog lock is, but right. I'm not buying it if I don't like you, you know? Right. Um, so like I'll go through your phone book and that's how I started is just I hit up everyone and I said uh, if you know hey 
I'm getting into personal training. If you know anybody who's interested in personal training, I would love for you to refer them to me. Yeah, okay, so what's the difference of uh, personal and online? I have no clue what online Right, is. so online. I know you do online. Yeah, so I have I use Trainerize as my platform of choice. There's obviously a lot of platforms of choice out there. Um, and pretty much what I do is I create a custom built program for somebody, custom built nutrition plan, and then that's one offer is just that. And then I'll, I'll, they have like accountability with me through the, through the app messaging. And then there's another tier of like coaching where it's like, okay, we'll do one-on-one -on -one coaching calls. Um, you'll get access to the f uh, private Facebook group. Yeah, okay, so charges, what do you charge? What do you make at a box gym? And what do you make doing independent? So, at a, so that's the big thing. So at a box gym, they'll feed you clients. Your, your calendar will be full. You might, st I don't know what it is now. I started at 14 an hour. Oh, really? I thought it was like a 50 50 split. Like, if you had a client. Yeah, not when I started. It's an, hour, it's an hourly job. It's for, it was $14 an hour per session, and then I got a uh, tw I got a lot of commission through my sales at 24. I got more hourly at the next big box gym. I got like 33 an hour, but I got like 5% of my sales instead of 20% of my sales. So, it, it all depends. Independent, you'll make more money per client, obviously, like a lot. It's just the number of like, all right, how many clients can I get on my own versus how many clients will like 24 or like a big box gym give me, like anytime or something like that. I go to this like independent gym. Um, Is that one nice? It's okay. Um, but everyone in your circle now, that's one. Two, just start posting content so you could grow that circle. So people know more, like more people know about you, whether that's like a blog. You can do free blogs, dude. Like there's so much free, like social media is a great fucking platform to do free stuff. You can go on like Instagram and set post like a picture or a video like I do. You can post like, you know, let's just say like, or you can get like a nice like picture of an orange or like a nice picture of a meal or something. Like it doesn't have to be you. And then in the post, you're just put in the caption, you're just fucking value in and out. Like just hella value. It's like free commercials in my mind. Right. You know, like a blog is a free newspaper article about you. No, like it doesn't have to be about you. It's just like value for the customer. And then you can share it, and then they're gonna do it. And then they might, if it's super valuable, they might share it on LinkedIn. And then LinkedIn, they could blow up because LinkedIn, like LinkedIn, if you're if you're gonna like LinkedIn, LinkedIn, it goes to everybody. Bro, LinkedIn, if you can do, dude, I'm an idiot because I'm not doing LinkedIn fucking good enough because I'm fucking egotistical about Instagram. But if I was non. <laughs> Because you like the way you look. Yeah, exactly. You know, I gotta do the videos. Just kidding. Link, if you could write a nice article or a nice caption on LinkedIn, bro, these people share that shit like all day. If, that's, if, I, if I was gonna do one thing, I would start posting articles on LinkedIn. I mean, I hope that helped. Absolutely. Yeah. N NASM would be your next step. NASM, number one, number two, slash one and a half. Reach out to the people that, you know, are in your circle. And then once you get comfortable with like, what your what your wave is, what your momentum is, like, well, you know, start posting content somewhere, you know? Right. Um, it's just because then when you want to go online, you'll have a, a base and you'll get used to just doing the content to where, oh, like, you have a LinkedIn post that did extremely well because it's, you know, it's, it's very good. So on your good ones that you feel like it just goes well, that one you might post on Instagram. Gotcha. You know? uh, but LinkedIn, I mean, TikTok, if, you're, if you want to do videos, because that's, those two, LinkedIn and... Um, yeah, yeah, all right. Well, you're fuck you. <laughs> <laughs> but uh, is there like a certain thing that I've missed that you had a question on or that you were like interested uh, you in? Hit, you hit all of my questions. Cool. Nice. Well, I'm going to stop this recording then. Oh, hope you guys got some value from that. If you did, comment down below. I'll see yeah. you next video.